Welcome to Swamp Shangri-La Rural Living, here in the heart of the South Carolina Low Country. Today we'll be cutting up firewood, 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 with wishful thinking for a white Christmas. You are welcome to join us. Stick around.
Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> you can tell we did a little bit of firewood cutting there. Did a little bit, but we've got a long ways to go. We are sitting on the original oak tree that we did the commissioning cut with the 661 uh, steel when we got it. This is the top of the tree. And our workhorse, the 661 and the 291, really performed well today. Quite pleased. You know, in another video, we did the bar change out to a 25 inch bar on that beast. And uh, I'll tell you what, they can cook, cuts like Quicksilver. What we're probably going to do is right here where you got this branch out. We're going to cut it on this side. This much will be reserved for the mill. And the rest will be consigned to the firebox. But um, also, you notice, my beloved B did a little bit of firewood hauling a little red. B, what'd you think about it, huh? I think I'm getting more comfortable operating our Massey Ferguson. Mm -hmm. I, as I said before, repetition is key. The more frequency you work with something, the more comfortable you'll get, mm -hmm. and the more confident you'll feel operating that machinery. And what I have encountered is, since I was on the tractor for a longer period mm -hmm. of time, this go around, it actually allowed me to get even more comfortable and more relaxed. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure the experience would get even much more easier for me in the future. But so far, I'm enjoying it, absolutely. Good deal. I'm always also uh, point something out here to you and also the audience. That is a key point. And I say this because you're an entry level operator. You're still in learning stages and everything. And it goes with one's comfort level. You can tell B's still trying to get used to controls and pick the correct direction that she needs to go. But when that bucket was under load yes. and full of firewood, and I was right there at it yes, in the breaches, we would say, <laughs> uh -huh. you didn't touch those controls. Matter of fact, I tried to reach the roll forward a couple of times, and you guys saw that. You kind of like, well, yeah, do I really want to do this? <laughs> yeah, well, you did. But that is an accolade. I also was concerned about the tractor jerking yeah. forward too close to you. Yeah. So that's also why I was a little bit hesitant. And a lot of that will come with comfort, yes. gears, and clutch. Yes. So you'll get a you you'll get used to working that. But again, it's about experience. Yes. It's about exposure. Yes. And you're doing quite well. Yes. And I just want to give you a strong accolade, my beautiful wife. Thank you. That <laughs> instead of going above and beyond. Yes. You took the hands off approach. Yes. And guys, that is the hardest thing there is to do. Okay. And any veteran operator will tell you that. Because you always want to help. You always want to do more. Well, sometimes not doing a dang thing is the best thing you can do. And if you're unsure about your environment, you're unsure about your situation, then you're still getting a feel for which way those mm -hmm. controls roll on yes. that stick, then okay. Do it over there where you got the dump pile or we got the firewood pile now going together. But you don't need to do that on my lap. Yes. So you did wonderful. Thank you. And I, guys, I want you guys to take that as a serious thought because I was right underneath that bucket quite a bit. And you probably got a thousand pounds of firewood. But I've been able to jump out of the way, could have, would have, should have, maybe. Important thing is, it didn't happen. She was conscious about the situation. Her mind was on task. And that is the takeaway, if there is any that you can get from this video. Keep your mind on task, guys. And if you're unsure, take a pause for the cause. So it's just, okay, I don't know, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna ease it forward because he asked me to, but I'm not touching that, that magic stick right there. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to dump this cargo on. So that was very good on your account. That was my concern, yes. Well, you... Because I was not sure my 
overview of where you stood right. seemed like you were very, very close yeah, to the I bucket. Was. And my concern was, am I moving forward too close to you that I may possibly hit you? Right. That was my concern. So I was very tentative in moving forward because of that. Very good. And the other thing to remember, guys, when you get tired, you know, particularly if you're the one throwing wood into a bucket, and the way it kind of works is, you know, you kind of get tired, and you go, oh, yeah, 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 come on, come on, come on. But I appreciate the fact that she was hesitant because that that's very good because that helps keep the idiot ground, man, out of harm's way. So keep your mind on the task, gang, and we'll see you on the next one. We'll see you on the next one. And thanks for joining us. Take care.